It's a Game Boy Advance game! It's an emergency order! It's a Metroid game! Yeah, I guess the emergency order is for a Metroid game on this random gameplay. Oh my god, that's loud! <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that loud when I started, but okay. I have turned on the volume a bit on my TV, but holy jeez! <laughs> that was just overpowering. This is the first Metroid! Well, it's a remake of the first Metroid, known as Metroid Zero Mission. And I'm going to play a little bit of it. Yep, I will learn... Normal. <laughs> Ooh, we're landing, we're landing, we're playing! There isn't much story in... oh. Well, I should say there's not much story in Metroid games, they're more of a, um... They show you things, then you're supposed to draw your own conclusions of sorts. But uh, they still keep it rather um, low in story for the most part. I can jump! I can move around! I'm not supposed to go this way, but I'm going this way anyway just to show you that I'm not supposed to go this way. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll just go and play where I know I need to go. <laughs> I mean, this is a random gameplay after all. But yeah, you're supposed to go over here. And you're supposed to grab this, which gives you the Morph Ball ability. By pressing down twice, you can turn into a ball and sneak through stuff. So that is the first upgrade of the game. And I've uh, got to get use out of it here. Yeah, they kind of trap you into grabbing that if you go this way. <laughs> because you can't jump over that at this moment in time. So, yeah. Alright, now let's go over to the right. And you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, just because. My my range this early in the game is really terrible, and it's and it really, really gets in your way, just saying. Well, anyway, this is where I would end up having a, um, a I mean, I would, be, I would be blocked here because I couldn't move forward. And if I go here, turn into a ball, whoa, would you look at that? The Chozo have revealed the way, and I'm supposed to go over there. Thank you for telling me, and thank you for healing me, even though I didn't really need that. <laughs> and over here, beyond this door is a save... St I was gonna say save state, it's a save room. Yes, I will. There are no save states. This is the real deal Game Boy Advance game. Played on a Game Boy player. <laughs> no. Alright, my jump is atrocious as well. As is the power of my shots. I must get used to being a weakling. <laughs> At least temporarily. Yeah! Button mashing for the win. If you don't have the power, you have the speed. I think I can sneak through there. Yeah. I'm approaching. There's a there's a lot of uh, um oh, I can't go through there until I get an upgrade. There's a lot of uh, vertical shafts in Metroid games. I noticed that is a a thing with them. I don't know why either. Right, yeah. Wait, is, I think this is the place. Yeah, this is the place. There's only one place. Why did I think this wouldn't be the place? I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. And here we are. Grab that, and we got the long beam. This allows my shots to fire longer. So rather than them being these pea shooter shots that are only like 20 pixels long. They shoot all the way across the screen. Very handy. And now I can access all sorts of stuff that I wasn't able to do so before, like this right here. And I probably missed an upgrade or, or two somewhere knowing this game and its odd way of hiding things. Like they, they want you to shoot all the walls, all the, like the ceilings, the floor, just to find stuff, and I just don't have the tolerance for that. <laughs> I'd rather use a guide for something like that, in all honesty, than shooting all the, uh, oh yeah, I can't go through here. I have taken a wrong path. I was probably supposed to backtrack, actually, to the uh, spot that I can now shoot through. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, you weren't here. Wait a sec, did I take another path? I 
think I... Yeah, I somehow... Oh, I see, I, I passed through... Oh, how did I not notice that? Well, here's an upgrade. <laughs> I mean, uh, here's a re restore plus the... the it'll tell me where I'm going, yeah. Clearly, I cannot speak in this video. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go over there, and there's no map. So... I'm all alone. In the first Metroid game, you they basically left you to explore for the most part, but they give you a few hints in uh, this one here via a uh, map plus the, uh, the stuff you've seen like there. Uh, this actually leads back to that other shaft, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that led me back here, so I was supposed to take that upper route. I just went to the left instead of the right, and yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> The game is also like a maze, so it's very easy to get lost. I cannot get through that door without an upgrade. Which way I should actually take here? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, can I actually get up? Get off me! Yeah. 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 Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I got some stuff stuck on me. I don't actually know how I can get rid of that. Cause I can't like charge my shots. I can't drop bombs. They're just stuck on me. They don't seem to be hindering me all that much, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but they're still stuck on me. <laughs> now that I got the long shot, those are less of an issue. So I can shoot them from a higher spot. Oh, right. Oh, bombs. Ah, wrong paths. And I forgot I don't have a bomb jump. That is great. Yeah, I was gonna just jump over that acid pool using a bomb jump, but no, I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, am I even going in the correct direction? Probably not, so maybe I should just go back down, because it looked like the lower lower path was more accessible. There wasn't as many obstacles. <laughs> oh, saver. I will take this in stride. It's really hard to remember where you have to go in uh, this game as well, or, or the first Metroid game in general, because it's... eh. It's so... It, it all feels very similar. <laughs> like, there's no the strong landmarks. Alright, boss time. Oh, not yet? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Thought it was gonna be a boss, but I guess they want to give me missiles first. Yay! I think there's actually a, a missile upgrade a little bit further on. So yeah, that missile upgrade will let me go through red hatches. And hold on a sec. Uh, that requires bombs. Okay, I guess there isn't anything that I can get there right now. And when I go back... I'm trapped! Oh, jeez! Wait for the head, shoot the eyeball! Oh, jeez. I missed. That's just a shame. There we go, that's what you're supposed to do. And they, they shoot spikes out from the, uh... Nah! Shoot spikes out from the, uh... A body there, and I am doing a terrible job dodging stuff. It only takes three missiles to kill it off, but... Eh. And for that, you get the charge beam, of which I can now charge shots by holding the attack button. Which is, you know, the B button. <laughs> yeah! And this is a lot more powerful, and once you get this thing, you will pretty much be holding the button most of the time, <laughs> because it is that much more powerful than the regular shot, and you can one-hit a lot of stuff as a result of it, so you're better off just constantly charging your shot the whole time, and then just sharpshooting your way through stuff, if at all possible. And wait, I can turn into a ball to get you guys off me sometimes, or do you just go off me whenever you please? I'm unsure about that. Anyway, I can go through here now. <laughs> uh... Wait, wait a second, maybe I should save my game, just in case of disaster. Because of ye ol' rustiness. Yes, please? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, um, as I said before, I'm probably missing some upgrades hidden in walls, and people are gonna be like, Yeah, you missed this thingy here, and... Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, and I, I'm not really into that sort of search through every crevice and wall and stuff like that, so I'm just 
having fun with it at the moment. I can shoot down through here, can't I? I thought I could. Yeah, I can. Uh, actually, isn't there an upgrade if I go down here? Yeah, missile. Oh, these bombs. You guys are terrible. <laughs> eh. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, am I... I kind of like shoot these blocks, I think. Yeah, I can, okay. I was a little worried about that. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Oh, how oh, I, oh, I see it respawns. Clearly I am, oh, shoot. Literally shoot. <laughs> Clearly my knowledge of this game's mechanics is very rusty, okay. <laughs> I figured it out, don't worry. I'll eventually remember things as I go. This, this thing just keeps spawning those critters, and you gotta keep shooting at them, it's not really a big deal. Uh, what's on the lower alt? Nothing! Well, I suppose there's an easy, easy way to get attacked by stuff. And I'm low on health, that's delightful. <laughs> how much do those, I mean, how much damage do those things do, anyway? I'm not really sure about that, I wasn't really paying attention either. By the way, those glowing orbs that you see that enemies drop are indeed energy, so... Uh, whenever you see them, you should probably pick them up for your health. Well, at least if you're low on health. Do you want to go down there or do you want to progress? I probably want to progress. Oh, and I noticed that when you see a, a circle on the map, that means that there's something hidden in the room. But still, sometimes that you have to um, find the pathway to whatever you're looking for from another room. So it's still kind of baloney in its own way. <laughs> so, yeah. Apparently, I can't get through that, okay? Sound good? No, 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 Oh, jeez, <laughs> Gotta stay away from lava acid stuff. Actually, it looks more like acid than lava due to its clearness. Yeah, wait, which pathway am I going? I don't know. This game is really open-ended, and by really open-ended, I mean... Oops, did not mean to do that. I want to pause the game. Okay, I am approaching that dot. I was trying to keep track of where I was on the map in my head, and I seem to be making it, so... Hmm. Uh, I wonder if that other um, room down there was a save point, because I get the feeling that I'm gonna... Yeah, it is a save point. I feel like I'm going to end up heading face first into a boss, and I'd rather be able to save before I get to the boss, for obvious reasons. Ah. Don't want to restart too much progress in a random gameplay, or progress in general. Uh, do I want to go through here or down there? Like, what's the point of... Oh, I'm getting the bomb upgrade soon, okay. <laughs> I recognize this now. Yeah. Classic tune. And now I can blow stuff up while in the morph ball. So I just go like this and press the fire button and voila. You can also use them to bomb jump and I'm not very good at bomb jumping actually. That's something that I've never practiced though, so that's probably why. But you can quite literally break uh, sequence in the game by bomb jumping for any amount of fight that you want to, if you time your uh, uh, bombs appropriately. Anyway, let's go down here now and see what's. Oh! <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Like, what, what was the point of that, really? Was, was that just there to tempt you, thinking that you could, could go through there or something? Like, hold on a sec, I just want to do this one more time. Yeah, they, they re keep respawning, don't they? <laughs> Delightful. Like, is there anything hidden, like any path that I can go through here? But yeah, enough of those critters on you will start draining your health. They don't seem to impact your, um... <laughs> they don't seem to impact your physics, though. Uh, so I guess they're not that much of a bother, but if you but if you have too many of them on you, obviously you got to get them off, otherwise they'll drain your health pretty quickly. Moving on, I'll continue upward, I suppose. They're oh, they're nice. Oh, I can't. 
Well, unless I sequence broke with some bomb jumps. <laughs> but that's not uh, necessarily what they want me to do. Uh, map room! Probably should have went here earlier. I forgot all about this, though. Is it possible for me to go up higher than that? Maybe. Maybe they want me to bomb jump. Nah, they wouldn't do that. They never um, take into account bomb jumping, but they know people... Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure they know about the, that people enjoy sequence breaking and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm almost positive that they purposefully left that in the game. Let's see if I can do this and... Oh yeah, that's what you're basically supposed to do. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh. terrible timing. There we go. That's the timing that you're looking for. Okay, I, I, there's. <laughs> that's definitely a shaft. That is um, an, a place I'm not supposed to go through just yet. Definitely for sure. I might be able to sneak through there with bomb jumps, but I wouldn't count on. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Oh, I noticed I'm nearing 15 minutes here. Yeah, I'll keep going on, I suppose. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Dang, acid lava. It's ruining the perfect suit that I have. Dang it. I was pointing up, or at least I thought it was pointing up. I ended up actually failing. Okay, what's down? Oh, this is where I used the bombs from. I thought I could actually shoot through that. Silly me. <laughs> so I guess this is the path I'm supposed to take now that I... Eh, now that I have bombs. No, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. I was gonna get overwhelmed there if I didn't shoot him at that spot. And hello, next destination! Direct me where I should go. Oh, Norfair. Okie dokie. Sounds good to me. So I guess I gotta really backtrack from here. Out I go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, enemy respawn rate. Just leave a door. Come back. They're back. <laughs> it's always like that. Always remember that. Always remember where the enemies are if they're ambushing type of enemy. I like. Yeah. That ah, worked. I was gonna say, can I just like bomb jump up there before it gets to me? But that was fine. Ah, even this thing respawns, and it takes so many shots. <sighs> you can't, like, do a charge shot either. Well, maybe you could do a charge shot, but I mean, if it hits one of the critters, I think it would actually dissipate your charge shot. Uh, okay, we're... Okay, I'm on track. I should probably use this save when I get back there. You guys are not worth my time. <laughs> Down I go, but the save spot is indeed worth my time. So I will go save, if, if you don't mind. Yay. Good. And back I go. To the depths of the world. And I think this was a spot that I could get through with bombs if I had them. Yeah, this was led... I mean, this is where the boss was that you've seen. And over here... Yep. Yeah. Aha! Oh, jeez. Gotta always watch out for the shallow holes, because stuff can pop out of them. You can dodge them easily by uh, just jumping, uh, as you've seen there when I just rushed through it, but... Uh-oh! What is this abomination? There's... Oh, wow. Battery life on the camera is at zero bars. <laughs> So maybe that's a good time for me to end off the random video. If you... I mean, that sounds like a good idea to me. So I think I'm going to save my game, end off the random video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.